Hello and welcome back to Chef Shell's French Kitchen. I'm Chef Shell and today we will be making Salade Niçoise and Pont Bagna. Most of you might have heard of Salade Niçoise. It is sometimes seen on restaurant menus here in the U.S. but you might not be familiar with Pont Bagna. Pont Bagna is simply Salade Niçoise but in a sandwich. So we are going to show you how to make it today. So let's get started with the ingredients. So we have three hard boiled eggs sliced in thin rounds, 10 medium sized tomatoes, and I have lightly salted them and put them in a colander so they can drain. And I'm going to lightly salt them again. A little bit of salt there. And then we have thinly sliced green bell peppers. So I have these sliced paper thin. <laughs> you don't have to slice them that thin, but that's, that's just the way I chose to slice them today. Then we have six also thinly sliced um, green onions. One thinly sliced cucumber. A generous cup of lima beans. Traditionally, Salad Niçoise uses fava beans. Um, I have not had any luck in my area finding fava beans. If you can, use fresh. Those are preferable to lima beans. If not, I just use frozen lima beans. Um, they're a good swap. Then I have two small cans of tuna that I've just flaked. And I have about half a cup of black olives. So traditionally, you would use ni niçoise olives, and they are not very easy to find here. They're very small and a light brown, dark black color. I was able to find some in an olive mix at Aldi's. If you can't find them, just sub any black olives in for them. They don't have to be the Niçoise olives. Um, we also have a clove of garlic, six nice finely chopped basil leaves, and I was able to find basil this week, so I'm very happy. Then we will also need some mustard. I'm using a spicy local mustard. You could use a Dijon, any, whatever your favorite mustard is. Juice of half a lemon. And then we are going to need olive oil and vinegar and salt and pepper. And for the pombagna, four round breads. I made these myself. But any round bread you can find at the store will work just fine for this recipe. So let's get started. I'm going to take my salad bowl and my clove of garlic, which when I was peeling it, it broke in half, but that's fine. That's what we want. And we are going to just rub the garlic all over our bowl and our vegetables for the salad will get a nice garlicky flavor. So, ooh, <laughs> that smells so good. So just rub the bowl with the cut garlic, or in my case, the ripped garlic. There we go. And then we can start adding our vegetables. So I got my cucumbers here, and it doesn't matter what order you put these in, totally up to you. So the cucumbers are right here. You can alternate colors. Um, I'm using a green bell pepper, actually two, green bell peppers. You could use red bell peppers, um, any color you want to make this a little more colorful. I do have a lot of green in here, so it might be nice to switch that up a bit. Um, let's get, since I have the peppers here too, we'll add in the peppers. Next. 
the lima beans, or if you were lucky enough to find fava beans, then add those in. Next, let's put the tuna in. All right. Green onions. And then we'll get the olives. So very quick <laughs> today. Um, quick recipe. And then we're going to drain our tomatoes the best that we can. And we'll put those in as well. We'll do our egg slices on top. So this is great for the summer. In fact, this is only a summer dish. In Nice, you want to use fresh ingredients. So these are all vegetables that are in season now in the summer. So you will not find a salad niçoise on a restaurant menu any other time than the summer or a pom Um And that is great for picnics, for a snack. One of my favorite, I know I said it every time, but this truly is one of my favorite things to eat in Nice. Um, every May they have Lumai, which is a festival. So they celebrate the month of May and you can go up to Simier, which is a neighborhood with Roman ruins in Nice. And they will have dancers dressed in traditional costumes. They've got music and they'll have little stands and they will sell the pombagna and other specialties from Nice. And this is always my favorite thing to get. And you walk around and you eat your pombagna and you listen to the music. Um, it's the celebration is right in front of the Musée Matisse, uh, which is Matisse's former house. He used to live in Nice and there's grass and trees. You can sit in the grass and eat your pombagna. Great for a picnic. Highly recommend. Um, so, so good. So that's like my favorite time in Nice during this Lumai festival. So every weekend in the month of May, they have this going on. So if you're able to get to Nice, I highly recommend going in May and seeing this festival and eating the pombagna. It's great. Okay, so we have all of the vegetables in our bowl. So now we're gonna make a vinaigrette. So we have our finely chopped basil in the bowl. To that, we are going to add about a teaspoon of mustard. And then the juice of half a lemon. And to that, we are going to add six tablespoons of olive oil. All right, so now all we have to do is add salt and pepper to taste. And that is our vinegar. Mix it all up so there is the salad dressing or the vinaigrette. So we're gonna pour that over our salad niçoise. So let's take a look at that. And I'm going to lightly toss that. And that is our salad. So if you want, you can stop right there and serve this as a main dish, a nice light dinner for summer or lunch, or you can turn this into my favorite, pom bagna. So to do that, we're gonna take one of our round breads and we're gonna cut it in half. There we go. So we have our bread cut and we are going to take a little bit of the inside out. In France, they call this the me. Okay, so we have our bread. We just took out some of the me to make room for our salad. And we're going to rub this again with 
our clove of garlic. So go ahead and rub the top and bottom of the bread with the garlic. Give it some nice garlicky flavor. And then we are going to take oil and we're gonna just drizzle some olive oil on top and bottom of our bread. And then we're gonna take some vinegar. I've got some red wine vinegar here. Do the same, drizzle some top and bottom of your bed. Bread. <laughs> so, pan bagna literally means, pan means bread, bagna is like baked. So we wanna bathe our bread in the oil and the vinegar. So once we have that, let me grab a plate. And I'm going to put our bread on here. And then we are just simply going to add our salad niçoise to the bread. Let's get tomatoes and we've got the peppers and the tuna fish. Another um, bit of information about salad niçoise or uh, Pombagna is the ingredients can be a bit controversial. Uh, traditionally, these this is roughly the ingredients, save the lima beans, which I had to substitute for the fava beans, but um, some people put tuna fish in their salad niçoise, or also, which is accepted by traditionalists, is anchovies. So it's an either or, you never wanna put anchovies and tuna fish in it. Also something you will never find in a real salad niçoise are potatoes or green beans. So it, they do get a little um, defensive of their, their dish. So there are definitely things that you do not ever want to put in a salad niçoise to not upset. <laughs> The purists, the traditionalists, let's see. Let's put some more um, tomatoes in here in the salad. And we've got all the vegetables and tuna. I've got a lot of peppers in there. And there you go. So let's see if I can show you. So that is all the vegetables, the tuna in there. So now we can close it and it's good to sample right now, although it's best if you wrap this up in plastic wrap and put it in the refrigerator for a couple hours and then eat it later. It'll be even better, but I don't wanna wait. <laughs> A couple hours. <laughs> so let's see how this tastes. And I'm going to try <laughs> and eat this as non messily as I can. Mm. So good. Great lunch, good for picnic. Now's the perfect time, but I hope you try this. And if you do, let me know down in the comments or on our Instagram, Chef Shell on Instagram. But I really hope you try this. Let us know what you think. Please like this video and subscribe to our channel. And we hope to see you in the next video. Bon appétit.